In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a mini map in Roblox Studio. Okay, let's get started. First, we are going to need a folder to place all the contents of the map into. Click the plus sign next to workspace and add a new folder. Name this folder map. Now, select everything on your map, including the base plate, and move all of them inside the new map folder. Next, add a new part like this and change its size to 5. 0 0.1 5 This is going to be our mini map, which we will add a surface GUI to the top. I found doing it this way was the best way. Under behavior, tick anchored. Okay, let's add a GUI to this. Click the plus sign next to starter GUI and select a surface GUI. Inside the surface GUI, add a viewport frame. Back up to our part. We need to group it to make it a model. And call this model mini map. Select the primary part box like this. And then click the part inside the mini map model. This links it as the primary part for that model. So we can use it in our script. Now click on the surface GUI like this and click in the Adorni box. Next click the part on the screen to link it as well. Under Surface GUI, change the face to top. Now on the viewport frame, change the size to 1,0 and 1,0. That's done it. You can see how the Surface GUI now fits the entire part. I changed the rotation to 180. This will depend on which way your map is facing. So adjust this for your game. Select Viewport Frame and set the border size to 3. Now select the part again, and change its transparency to 1. Now, move the minimap model to replicate its storage. It's now time to add our scripts. Click the plus sign, next to Surface GUI, and add a local script. Start writing all this code out as shown, and pay attention to capital letters and syntax. Make sure you have it exactly like this. Okay, that's the script completed. Let's give it a quick run and see if it worked. Yes, you can see that objects on the map are starting to load into the mini map there. You can see it goes a bit dark and is a little bit glitchy, so let's fix that. We just need to set the surface GUI to be always on top. Yeah, that's better. The next thing we need to add is an indicator on the map so we can mark where the player is. Click the plus sign next to viewport frame and add a frame like this. On the frame properties, change the background color to a blue or red or color of your choice. Now we just need to center it and resize it. Change the position to 0 0.5 minus 5 and 0 0.5, minus 5. Change the size to 0, 0,8 and 0, 0,8. I made a mistake here. This should be minus 5. Let's run that to test it, and check if the dot is in the center. Yes, it's looking great. The next step is to check for moving objects on the map, such as cars, trains, etc. In the toolbox, I'm searching for a moving car, and just going to add this first one. 
Anything that moves will do, we just need to test our mini-map. Ok for moving objects, we need to treat them differently. Create a new folder under the workspace, and call it moving objects. Then, drag any moving objects, such as this car, into the moving objects folder. If we run that now, nothing will happen with the car, as you can see it won't show on our mini map yet. So we need to add a quick script, which we will do now. Click the plus sign, next to surface GUI, and add a local script, like this. Ok, this script is nice and quick at just 5 lines. As before just write it out exactly. And pay attention to capital letters and syntax. Ok, when that's done let's run it to test. And see if the car now moves on our mini map. No. It's just stationary and not moving at all. Let's check what we did wrong. I found the problem. I have no capital O for objects. But in my script, I do have a capital O. They need to be the same, so let's fix it and try again. Ok, here comes the car. Yes. I can see it moving on the mini map now. That's great. It's working. Which brings us to the end of this tutorial. Stay watching, I'll quickly scroll through the scripts. And settings for the GUI. This is the god of coding at Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one.